Got him. Oh, a lot of weight. Get his He's head strong. up. He's strong. It's a good fish. Oh, big head shakes. Oh, no, big walleye. Oh, that's a good walleye. Big that's a good walleye. walleye. Holy dude. Get his head up here, dude. I'll that's grab. a monster. Oh, that's a chunk, dude. There he is. There he is. There he is. Got him. Oh, Bradley. <laughs> Let's yes, go! Baby. Yes, baby! Giant. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NB Edits. Glad you guys could join me today. I am very, very excited for the little trip that I've got planned here today. It's something that I've wanted to do here on the channel for a very, very long time. And uh, today's finally the day that we get to do it. As you can tell, I have a sleeping bag here in my arms. That's right, we are going to be staying overnight on the ice all night long and we're gonna go ahead and try and catch some fish tonight so right now I am packing up the vehicle trying to get everything that I can from home I do have to stop at the store I'm gonna be picking up some groceries so we can cook up some food tonight while we're staying out on the ice fishing I'm gonna go ahead finish packing up the vehicle grab all of my ice fishing stuff all of our camping stuff we've got the new shack already loaded up in the vehicle tonight's gonna be a fun night let's get right into it alrighty guys so we just got to the old Wally World. So we're gonna go ahead, stop inside, grab a couple things. I don't need much, but definitely do have to stop and grab some hot dogs or brats for tonight. Something that I can make nice and easy. Gonna be cooking those up tonight while we're in the shack all nice and warm. Gotta make sure I pick up some propane, I remember that. Then after this, we're gonna go ahead, stop at the bait shop, pick up some minnows, live bait for tonight on our tip-ups, and then we should be set. So let's head inside and see what we can find. Buns, of course, and some jalapeno ketchup. All right, well, got all of our goods. We've got dinner for tonight, and I bought enough brats that way, uh, well, I'm gonna be out there for a while. So let's go ahead, head over to the bait shop, and uh, we're gonna go get some minnows for tonight. That way we can set up our tip-ups and we can jig hopefully in the shack as well. Then it's time to hit the hard water, boys. So let's go do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we actually just made it to the spot and I'll tell you what, oh man, I'm tired. I totally forgot how much of a send it is to walk. I've been using the snowmobile all year long so far and uh, whew, take it for granted. Nick's not with me out here today, so just a solo man trip, staying out here all night long. It is starting to uh, get dark on us here really, really quick. We've got some cloud coverage uh, over the top of us here today. I am set up on a hump on a pretty steep drop off, and I'm hoping that's gonna be the ticket for finding these fish today. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna set up the shack, show you guys how I've got everything all set up and rigged up today. Gonna be running two tip ups, maybe three if I stop jigging, but probably gonna be running running two tip-ups and jigging. So, like I said, let's go ahead, set up the shack, got all my stuff behind me, let's get right into it. All right guys, I don't even believe it. I don't even, I just got the shack set up. I've got nothing inside of it. I'm not even prepared for this. I drilled two holes, set up two tip-ups and check it out, already got our first flag. Let's do this. All right, first flag of the evening, let's go. Took out some line, no movement right now. Oh, maybe. Yep, fish there. Got him. Oh, did it just come off? Or is he there? Nope, came off. Shoot. Man, I could have let him have that one a little bit longer, I suppose. It just went up. I gave him a little bit of time and the movement stopped. So I was hoping he was choking it down. Must have just had it right on the tip of his mouth and running a little bit bigger suckers here tonight. So let's go ahead and uh, get this tip up back into the water. Hopefully it won't be too long. We'll get another flag. I'm going to try and uh, get the rest of the shack and everything put together. Like I said, just got out here. We already got one opportunity at one. Missed that one, but not a big deal. Get her back in the water. Oh, we're going to get him on the next one. So as you can tell, it is now dark, but we got the shack all set up. And I'm going to go ahead, show you guys inside what we are working with. Oh, baby. We are ready to rock. Check it out. We got the cot and everything. 
all set up. I've got plenty of room in here for all of my stuff. I'll tell you what, boys, this shack was a great investment. I got the old double wide chair ready to rock. I've got some holes drilled out. Check it out. Got the Garmin ready to rock. Got a hole for me. And I've got another hole for my buddy Sam. I actually just got off the phone with him. And he is going to be joining me out here. Oh, boy. The cot is nice. We got her nice and warm in here with the heater. I'll tell you what, boys. I am absolutely stoked for tonight. I think we're going to have a good night. I got that one tip up that went up early right at sundown. Haven't had anything since, but uh, I think we're going to have a good night out here. I've actually never ice fished this lake before, so... We'll see how it goes, but I've got everything all prepped and ready to go to sleep out here tonight. Now I'm ready to just fish. So going to go ahead and uh, finish organizing a couple more things. And uh, hopefully it won't be long. Sam and Cambria are both going to be joining me out here. Sam's a good buddy of mine from work that I've known for a while now. And uh, he's actually been on the channel before. You guys have seen him. We fished... Uh, fished a few times with them. So like I said, gonna go ahead, start organizing some stuff, might whip up some hot dogs here soon. And then we just gotta wait for those guys and it's time to start catching some fish. Alrighty guys, well, we have some visitors. Hello guys. Hey. Hello. How we doing? Great. Good. So we have got Sam and Cambria, say hello. Hello. <laughs> These guys, oh my gosh, you guys got brought a ton of stuff. Yes. As if I didn't have enough in that shack over there. You guys we'll ready check. to catch some fish? We're going to try to catch some fish. All right, man. Well, we're going to go ahead, start unloading all of Sam and Cambria's stuff. We got a lot. But hey, you drove it out here. Got the I old Jeep on the ice. <laughs> I know. Look at this bad boy. Hey, it's a perfect little beater for out on the ice, though. There's nothing better. Four-wheel drive. A big guy, so. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, let's start unloading and uh, we'll get you guys set up. Let's catch some fish. Sweet. Sam, are you rolling right now? Dude, he's it. right on me. We're he's on. right on me. Come on. He's like right below me. He's just staring at me. Come on. Yep, got him. Got him. Nice. Woo! Feel good? Doesn't feel bad. It's not a giant. Wrapped in the deucer. Woo! Yeah, there we go. First one of the night on the old rip and wrap. Check that out guys, decent little walleye. Just dropped this down there, and I mean just dropped it down there. Got him on the old rip and wrap. Oh yeah, he choked it. Let me grab the pliers quick. All right, there we go. That guy absolutely crushed it. Got him unhooked, one last look at him. Just a little guy, so we're gonna go ahead and send that one back down there. Let's go ahead and get a release on this guy. See you later, buddy. That is freaking awesome. Very important to try and get after them right away, operate them, get that bait out of their mouth. Oh my gosh, I just couldn't believe it. I uh, did not have a camera rolling or anything. Look at how it's cold in here. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get two heaters going in here. And like I said, I'm gonna be here all freaking night long, but uh, if they keep doing that, that's a good sign. Didn't even have a camera rolling. Um, I just told Sam, grab it right away. I dropped down, I just drilled this hole in here, and immediately I had a fish on screen. So that was pretty spectacular. Let's uh, let's see if we can get another one. Woo! Right. First one on the old iFish Pro. Oh, she's going, she's peeling line. Is it? Oh yep. yeah, it is. Yep, so here, pick it up, babe. Yep, pick it up. Set the bail. Yep, and now reel it in just a little bit until you feel a little bit of tension. Right, and then set the hook once you feel something. Go. Set it, there it is, go, 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 go. How does it feel? Can you feel any weight? Yeah, a little. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Yep. It's walleye. Oh, hold on. There we go. Get that up. There, there you go. Is. Woo! Freaking choked her. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Cambria did it. <laughs> she got her first one on the iFish Pro ever. Wow. Ooh, Dude, it's got a growth. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Yeah, oh, it's weird. covered in it. The front had it too. What is that? A uh, tumor. Uh. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, not a giant, but I mean, that's a fun fish to catch. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> and it came some... pretty shallow. Yeah, it did. On the old iFish Pro. Pretty cool to fight it with the reel, huh? Yeah, it was good. Rod and reel in hand. All right, we'll get them unhooked and get them back. Show them your catch, babe. <laughs> Woo! There, he there is. we go. Cambria's got her first walleye of the night. 
gonna go ahead and get a release on that little guy. Not a giant, probably about oh, there he goes. 13, 14 inches. How'd it feel? Good one, first one. Of the night. <laughs> Is it spinning? Woo! Not spinning. So she's not moving even a little bit, but I don't see the bobber. So that's a good sign. That is a good sign. I felt like a little bit of something. Okay. Oh, yep. Nope. Ooh. I couldn't. Maybe that was the ice. I don't know. Nope. Minnow's gone. Fucking <laughs> a was in its mouth. <laughs> All right. Well, that one's gone. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Yep, pull it out. That's some movement. This is going to be your second one of the night. Oh, it's, it's right there. Do you feel anything? Yep. Oh, yeah, he's right here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Nice. Not bad. Oh, nice. Woo! Oh. Let's go. Hey Cambria is on him tonight. I like, engulfed it. <laughs> we were worried that this was going to be a false flag because we just reset this one and we put a huge sucker on there. That is freaking awesome. Let's go. Give nice me some. Job. Yes. Nice job. <laughs> right, Cambria second off. of the night. Sam, what the hell are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Not fishing well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Send her back down. Just a little guy, but that's good. If the little ones are eating that big of baits, oh man, just wait till a freaking giant comes out, huh? That would be awesome. There you go. Nice. Ooh. Nice job, Cambria. Good job. Good one. Next Good one's got to be yours, Sam. It's got to be. I mean, I hope so. We got to get you on the board. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're just out here having some fun. Check it out. Absolute tank I just caught. <laughs> it's a Mondo. Probably going to mount it. I've never seen one that big, especially on a jig and wrap, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That'll probably never happen again. Look at that little guy. Just a tiny little thing. Same for bait. Yeah, you probably could almost. That is wild. Well, we had some tiny, tiny little marks coming to check us out. I dropped the old rip and wrap down there. And uh, that one came up and crushed it, as we like to say. <laughs> yeah, that, really, that one really crushed it. <laughs> I had no idea it was on there. Oh, he just barely tapped it. What was that? We've had so many of these. Huge like, mark! That was a dude. huge mark. That was a huge mark. Oh, my mark. God. Ooh. All right, we got ourselves another tip up, and I do not see Bobber. No movement out of her yet. I'm gonna go ahead and just give her a second here, and I just want to take it. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, Good. here we go. Let's see if we got anything on here. No Bobber. Yep. Yep. That's yep. There. Okay. Got him. Nice. We didn't go far. Nope. Seems okay. Yeah? Yeah, this is a better fish. This is not a little one, I don't think, unless he's just fighting really hard. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh he's, he's just hooked weird. He's hooked weird. Yeah. yeah. All right, underneath the door, so there on his go. gill plate. You got him. Oh, you got him. Woo, I thought that was going to be a bigger one. Definitely a fighter, that's for sure. Oh, boy, he's getting me all tangled here. Yep, he had it wrapped up around that fin right there. And that's why when he was coming up, he felt so weird. But just a little guy. Had me nervous for a second there. <laughs> but uh, same thing, look at that. It's got that weird, growth. yeah, some growth. Almost like a tumor effect to him. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that much on the bodies of water that you guys fish, but apparently it must be kind of frequent because that's the second or third one that we've, we've had like that. Yeah. Most of the fish are all cookie cutter size. I'd say anywhere from that like 13 to 16 inch range tonight. Nothing huge yet, but we have marked a couple on the Garmin inside the shack while we've been jigging. And uh, yeah, decent little one on the old tip up. All right, got him unhooked. Just a little guy. Gave him the minnow. Give him a little snack for being so polite and coming to say hi to us tonight. He wants to. There he goes. See you later, buddy. Woo, all right. Well, like I said, that one swallowed it pretty good. It seems like they're fairly aggressive when we get them to come in. Again, we're just fishing on a hump right now. And uh, I don't know if a lot of those bigger fish are still out deep. It's pretty late. It's got to be close to 10 o'clock, I'd say, right now. So we're going to go ahead, keep at it. Hopefully we get another flag. I don't know how much longer these guys are going to be staying out here tonight. But 
We're just jigging in the shack, staying warm. It's cold out here, so I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get this guy set back up and we'll see you guys when we get another fish. Yep. Oh yeah, he's there. He's there. He's there. Come on, Okay. Dude. Dirty, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a lot of ice buildup. Oh man. God, 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 God. You're gonna have to just pound it. Ooh, You're gonna have to pound it. He's drooming. Okay. okay, go. Might be a good fish. Yeah, go, go, go. Got him. Oh, a lot of weight. Or I'm snagged. He might be in the weeds. A lot of weight. Dude, that hole, that hole's kick tiny. It, kick it, kick that hole's tiny. It. I yep, mean, that's a little doing, better. Okay, he's in weeds. I'm pulling. There's a lot of weight here. Just keep in tension. I don't know if he's still there. Oh. Yep, he's there. Better fish. Yep, better fish. This is a good one, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, he... He took some line. Ooh. It's a good fish. Is it? Yep. Unless he's hooked weird. I think this is a bigger one. Kick that hole one more time. Kick that side if you can. Got a shower on that one. It's a good fish. This is a nice fish. Dude, look how much line he took out. Oh my gosh, I have a Look at your leg almost spooled. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Oh, bobber. Bobber, okay, okay. All right, hold on. Get his head up. He's strong. Get his head up. He's strong, it's a good fish. Oh boy. Come on, baby. We're close, we're close. There's the, there's, there it is. Oh, big head shakes. Big head shakes. Oh, no, big walleye. Oh, that's a good walleye. Big that's a good walleye. walleye. Big that's walleye. a good walleye. Get his head up, Huge get his head walleye. up. Just get his head up here, I'll grab him. Oh, Holy dude. Get his head up here, dude, I'll that's grab him. That's a monster. Oh, that's a chunk, dude. Get his head over here, bro. Oh, just get his head over here, dude. Oh. Come, on, come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Guys, huge walleye. Oh, that's a big fish. I can't tell. It's big. No, it's huge. It's huge. Oh. It's huge. Just get his head oh up my towards gosh. the hole, dude. Yeah. All I'm asking. His head won't even come. Oh, my God. This isn't going to be... No, it's big enough. It's big enough. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's right here. Look at him. On, He's filling up the whole entire come on, come on. hole. Come on, come on. There he is. There he is. There he is. Got him. Oh, Bradley. <laughs> Let's yes, go. Baby. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. That is giant. That is it. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> That is a freaking northern Wisconsin giant right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is a freaking pig. We grind it all night. It's got to be almost That midnight. is why we are here till 1230 at night. <laughs> Let's go. That's a freaking pig. Oh, my gosh. Woo. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, get the pliers. We're going to get a measurement. Oh, choked it. Oh, he choked it, dude. Gone. He choked it We're going to have to cut bad. the hook. We're going to have to cut the line here. And you just, think so? Yeah, gone. I can't even see hook. I'm literally shaking like a freaking schoolgirl right now. That is a giant. Take a look at that. That is why we stay out here until 12:30 in the morning. <laughs> All right. Well, the night's not over. Anything can still happen. We're gonna go ahead and get a release on this big girl. This fish is all of six pounds, 26 inches. Look at the eyes. Look at the head. Very dark, rich colors. That is freaking awesome. Barely fits through the hole. Way to break it open. <laughs> Ooh. Wisco giant. Here That's she goes. Awesome. Tail. Wave. Awesome. Good. Bye. There we go, baby. Woo! Give me some of that, dude. Yes. Go, yes. Oh my gosh, guys. Nailed that was it. So freaking awesome. Oh, very important again, guys, to just make sure you're just trying to get them in and out of the water as fast as possible. Working on that fish and operating on it off camera a little bit. Um, I kept them in the water. You wanna try and keep those fish down there as long as you possibly can without taking them out, rolling them around in the snow. You don't want that. Um, wow, what a freaking fish. That was amazing. Cambria actually saw that tip up go up. So Life props saver. to her, <laughs> lifesaver. <laughs> we've been getting small ones all night and we've gone through probably a at least two hour lull, I would say. At yeah, least a two hour close lull. Close to. Um, I think that last one was somewhere around 10.30 and it's now, what, you said just after 12.30? Yep. So, man, you never know what can happen out here. I know there's giants in this lake and they get even bigger than that, which is crazy, but that was one hell of a fish right there. So, I'm gonna go ahead, get this rigged up. Last time I was holding a fish, I was freezing cold, like, so cold and uh now i've just got uh, look at me i'm like literally shaking right now 
Whew, that was a nice one. I didn't know how big it was truly gonna be because when it was down below the hole, the head did not want to come up at all. It kept just giving me head shakes right at the hole. Sam and I were getting pretty nervous there for a sec, but uh, <laughs> I cut the line on that one. So hook is still in it. She's going back swimming just fine. She wasn't bleeding. She gave us the old tail wave goodbye. So we're gonna go ahead, get our tip up all fixed up and uh, now I really don't know how much longer these guys are going to stay out here because it's going on one in the morning, but uh, I'll be out here all night. So let's freaking go, boys. Woo! All right. Bye, Sam. Good night, Brandon. Thank you for enjoy letting me, you know, uh, keep you occupied. <laughs> Didn't catch any fish, so you kind of kept me occupied. Hey, but Cambria did. Yeah, she kicked my ass. <laughs> Tends to happen when I take her fishing. <laughs> well, hey, thanks for coming out, buddy. Anytime, man. We'll see you later. Hey, have you have night. fun sleeping in your own house in your own bed. Yeah, it's got to have heat and everything. <laughs> oh, I hate you. <laughs> see you guys. See ya. Well, folks, I'll tell you what. It's starting to get late, and uh, I've had a lot of fun. I think it's time to finally pull my tip ups. It's about two in the morning right now. I thought about staying up the whole night to be honest, just because it's really hard to stop fishing. But I do need to get some sleep, going through a bit of a lull. And I think that fish hit right around 12.30 if I remember correctly. And uh, it's now two in the morning. So it's been a little over an hour, going on two hours actually. And I uh, haven't gotten another flag. So. With that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead, pull my tip ups and get all set up for bed. I've got the cot and everything here and I'll tell you what, it's looking pretty cozy. I am going to pull my tip ups and uh, yeah, so get ready for bed. <laughs> so I'm going to go pull those and uh, I'll talk to you guys in just a little bit before I hit the sack. Whew. All right. Well, got the tip ups pulled, definitely getting pretty tired. so. I am going to go ahead and uh, get ready for bed here. Cotton, everything's all laid out, ready to go for me. So, pretty excited, boys. I'm not gonna lie. I've never slept out on the ice before. I've definitely fallen asleep while ice fishing, just sitting in the shack, just kind of dozed off in a chair. But I've never actually brought a cot out and done a full camping session. So, pretty excited. I mean, nothing's really gonna happen. I'm just going to uh, be cold and sleep here for a couple hours. I'm probably not going to sleep long because I do want to try and fish the morning bite. Probably gonna stay in my bibs just so I stay nice and warm. I don't know how comfortable that's gonna be. Just out of curiosity for you guys that have ever uh, done this before, do you sleep with your bibs on? I mean, obviously I'm gonna take my boots off, but like, <laughs> kind of a crazy question, but uh, I've never never slept out on the ice before. I, I think I'd be fine without the bibs on, like I said. Let's uh, turn off the lights, take off the boots, hop into bed, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Woo! Bright and early. Set up a tip up in the shack, and hopefully it pays off. Just went up. Should give him a couple minutes here. Man. Just had a little spiel. I mean, it just took out a little bit of line and then it just stopped. I'm hoping that he swam down to bottom and uh, I'm hoping that he's just choking it down right now. I'm hoping this one didn't get away on me. I think I'm going to go ahead and take it. Oh, yeah. I think he's there still. Oh, yeah, he's there. Peeling out line. Set this down. Here we go. Oh, did he drop it? Nope, he's there. Got him. Smaller one? Yep, little walleye. There he is, right in the shack. Look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. Oop. Save the minnow too. Let's go. Another one with that little like bit of tumors and fungus or whatever growing on him. Very interesting, but uh, hey. Another walleye, I'll take it. Hooked right in the side of the mouth. Hook comes out, just like that. Just a little guy. I'm gonna go ahead, get him Woo, right back into the water. Well, wow. that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, it's nice and early, and uh, we already got one walleye. Got another one on the tip up outside. So let's go check it out. Could be a crazy morning bite.
All right. She's not moving, but she was. Let's see if this fish is still here. Oh my goodness. Well, that got a little crazy. Camera completely tipped over, but uh, decent little walleye. <laughs> All right, well, just wanted to give you guys a little update as to how the morning's been going. It's been very slow, very, very slow. I went to bed shortly after two o'clock last night and I set my alarm early for 4.30. I had three tip-ups in the water. I had one right here in the shack next to me just to make it nice and easy. I figured, hey, you know, caught one jig in here. There's a ton of rocks below me. Probably a pretty decent spot. There's a couple little weed patches that I found and uh, figured it'd be a good spot and it was. I caught one right here in the shack. That was the first one that went up probably around like 5.05 I think it was in the morning. And then I had another one not too far away that also went up just before 5.30. Since then, nothing. <laughs> so I don't know if this lake just isn't a morning bite or maybe I'm just not on the right spot for the morning bite. In the morning hours, the fish, once the sun comes up, they like to go out deep and uh, I am fishing on a very shallow hump. So I'm wondering if a lot of the fish are just gone, moved out into the deeper humps or the weed edges or just the deeper parts of the lake. Anything's possible, I suppose. Um, I just don't think the spot that I'm on in particular is great for walleyes this early in the morning so I think I am going to start packing some stuff up just because well <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff here also quick update for you if you were curious you can tell I got my bibs back on now um, don't even try to sleep in them it is the most uncomfortable thing I could think of uh, Definitely could not sleep with them on. I wanted to stay a little bit more warm, but uh, yeah, no, I switched propane tanks and actually stayed really warm. The shack is amazing. If you guys are curious which shack we're using, this is the Clam Thermal X series, and this one's the 600. I definitely love the shack. Love everything about it. I like the way it's set up. It keeps the heat in really, really well. I like the air vents in it for when I'm running a propane tank and I don't want to die in here. I like the windows and everything, the doors. Every, it's super easy to set up. Everything about it is great. It says, I believe that it weighs like 65 pounds, but um, yeah, so it's pretty heavy <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. And like I said, I've got a lot of cleaning up to do. So I'm gonna start unpacking some of this stuff and getting ready to go. We are gonna have more camping videos like this here on the channel. If there's anything that you guys can think of while I'm out here as far as like things to try, definitely let me know down in the comment section. Obviously, I'd like to have Nick uh, also camp with me, uh, but it was fun to just do a little solo man trip, something different, something I've never done before. So I definitely am gonna do it again. It's, uh, I didn't get much sleep, I'll tell you that much, but it was a lot of fun. So like I said, we're gonna do more of these videos. I'm gonna start packing some of this stuff up and I'll see you guys in just a bit. Mm. Tell you what, boys. Nothing better than a fresh cooked brat while you're ice fishing. Something about brats. Way too good. Mmm. Still ice fishing. Still jigging. Jigging my life away. I think I have a serious problem. I've been out here for almost 24 hours now. I think I am going to be packing the rest of the stuff up here pretty quick. I got a hold of Nick and he is heading up north with his fiance, Caitlin, like I was saying, and we are all going to do some more ice fishing together. So with that being said, I'm going to finish these hot dogs and I'm also going to put the rod and everything else away here and eventually tear the shack down. I hope that you guys had a great time watching this video. And if you guys want to see more 24 hour fishing challenges or more overnight camping sessions, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. I'm very, very grateful that we were able to get that big fish last night and we caught a couple other nice ones as well. A lot of them were all cookie cutter size, but all it takes is a few hours longer than you would typically stay. Had I packed up at 9, 10 o'clock or something like that, I never would have seen that fish. That big one didn't hit till 12.30 at night. So to be able to get out here, stay all night long, and actually camp on the ice was pretty spectacular. And to see that big mama come through the hole, whew, my heart was racing. I remember when it was right below the ice, I, 
the water almost like magnifies that fish. I really did not know how big it was. I knew it was easily five, six pounds, but I didn't know if it was gonna be a dirty 30. It's so hard to tell, but tell you what, that was one heck of a fight, one awesome fish. I'm glad that we got it above the ice. So again, had a lot of fun. If you guys wanna see more camping videos, definitely let me know. If you guys enjoyed the walleye fishing, make sure to leave something down in the comment section for me. I'd greatly appreciate that. Make sure to leave us a big old fat thumbs up on this video. Also subscribe if you're new to the channel. And when you do so, hit that little notification bell. It's gonna give you an alert anytime that we post a video in the future. So thank you everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, tight lines for men be edits.